Okay guys, make with the outer circle. Want to take one last look, hopefully, for now, at the last chance to buy. Today I want to talk about the solution to our problems. What Forge World needs to do in order for all of us to stop whinging, bitching, pissing, moaning, whatever you want to call it. Basically, the solution is this. Don't just drop a whole bunch of products at once. Don't drop any range just at once, Forge World. Give us a little warning. Not just a last chance to buy, where all the decals, for example, happen to be sold out within a couple of hours of you announcing it, which has happened several times. Um, what you need to do is you need to give us some sort of advanced warning, maybe on Warhammer Community. Um, these products will soon be going into the last chance to buy. Give it a, at least a month, if not a couple of months, like two to three months. Surely it's not going to hurt you that much to have this product still cast in that time. It gives people a little bit of time to save up some money in order to purchase the things that they want. You're not just asking them, okay, now is your one and only chance to get this product before we pull it. You need to give people this chance, this opportunity. And I think that's why everyone is really pissed off. Not because you're discontinuing things like, you know, Mark II Legion torsos for a certain Legion, for example or a different type of shoulder pad, that kind of thing. That's not what makes people upset. That's not what makes people angry. What makes people upset and angry is that they are left with this sudden choice of black and white, yes or no, and they don't know what the consequences of those actions will be. People don't like having to make these split-second decisions, especially with the cost of Forge World especially. If you want to charge a premium price for a product, you need to provide a premium service. And the current last chance to buy is not that. Now, it doesn't matter if some of these things are staying, some are going, it's just bundles that are going, things like that. You can't just do that. You need to give us time. Give people a chance to prepare. You don't just pull the entire Elysian Drop Troops range. You don't just pull things like Rapiers and Quad Mortars from the Solar Auxilia range which makes no sense to me because here's a product that people need for their army. You're not just pulling a product like an optional shoulder pad or something like that. You're pulling a core unit of an army. When you pull a character, when you pull a vehicle, that kind of thing. You're removing an option that people need for their forces. This isn't a cosmetic option like decals or a different type of helmet. This is something important that you're removing that they may need to complete their army. If you're a Solar Auxilia player and you've spent all your money on Dracosan transports and Laz Rifle sections and that kind of thing, you've been working up. You started with your troops and your HQ and you've been buying uh, transports, dedicated transports, and then maybe you bought the Lehman Russes and then all of a sudden all these rapiers go, you, you didn't even get the chance to buy them. And that's pretty shit. Now the only way you're going to be able to get quad mortars, for example, or uh, multi-laser rapiers, I had to think of it for a moment, is if you either go recast, which a lot of people are against. I'm not saying if I'm for or against it, I'm just saying it is what it is, a lot of people are against it. But they are offering them for sale, or they go and they buy, say, legion rapiers, and they're left with a legion crew they don't want, and they have to now make a crew out of other solar auxiliary miniatures, so they've got to go out and spend a lot more money to create the product. That isn't going to build consumer confidence in you. We are getting emails daily, and messages daily from people going, hey, is Horus Heresy still happening? Are we still getting another book? Is it worth me building an army? I just bought Betrayal at Kelth or Burning Prospero. I don't know what I should do with it. Are they going to pull more products? And that leads me into the second problem. Communication. The second solution to the second problem is we need communication. Rather than just pulling these products and rather than just giving us time to buy them before you pull them, um, more than you know a night before you say, oh yeah, no more decals for X faction, what you need to do is tell us why. If you want to say, oh, you know, Mark II Space Wolf torsos just aren't selling very well, okay, at least it's something. It's something for people to go off. They maybe can understand a reason behind your decision. It doesn't just seem like you just plucked random miniatures at your leisure from your range and just fucked them off. 
You need to tell people what's going on. Some transparency is desperately required here. Not only that, if that was one of the reasons, like say for example, these three here. Dark Angels, Blood Angels, White Scars Parts, maybe they aren't selling too well. Is anyone here really surprised? Considering that neither of those factions has their book yet? If you don't have Dark Angels Fluff or Paint Guides, Blood Angels Fluff or Paint Guides, White Scars Fluff or Paint Guides, there is one picture of a Marine from each of those legions available to us to work with in the Horus Heresy. That is not enough. People are not going to go out and spend thousands of dollars on these ranges and buy all these upgrades and things like that if they've got no sure footing, no direction of where they go. Because people don't want to paint something and then, I'm not going to say paint it wrong, but paint it differently. When I did my Thousand Sons for the Horus Heresy, I bought from Forge World every single infantry soldier has an upgraded head torso and shoulder pads every single model um, when I made my initial purchase that was 60 miniatures all upgraded as well as HQs some specialist units that kind of thing I was willing to spend that money and support that product range because it was what I wanted but a Dark Angels player who's like well I have one picture of a Terminator to work off or one picture of a Space Marine they're not going to be willing necessarily to go out and spend all that money most Dark Angels players have put limited heraldry on their miniatures, as it is, because they're like, well, I don't know what direction Forge World's going to go with, and... So those product ranges aren't going to sell well. So, you know, we need a little reason. Why is an, a set of upgrades that are for a specific set of legions that haven't even been released yet being pulled? They'll be like releasing Stormcast Eternals, and then releasing the rest of their product range, and then pulling the Stormcast six weeks later. It makes no sense. Um, that's probably not the best analogy. Uh, let's try this. You're releasing Death Watch in 40k. You release Space Marine, Primaris Marines, and you release Death Watch upgrades, and then before you release the Death Watch Codex, you remove the Death Watch upgrades from the store. That's a better analogy. That's kind of what's happened here. And this is why people are upset. One, because they don't have time to figure out what they're gonna do. Do I buy these parts? Do I not? Do I have time to save money for these parts? People forget this is an expensive hobby. Those of us that are privileged enough to be able to buy these things, you, you gotta remember there are kids out there and people who, you know, it's hard times economically all over the world. Not everyone has the money to dump on all this stuff in one big hit. Some people, the most they can afford after a month is a single set of torsos, and you're asking them to forego, possibly for the rest of their lives, these miniatures, because someone on a whim at Forge World just felt like it. And that's bad. I'm sorry, but that's just bad. I bitch and moan a lot on this channel, but I think that's really poor form. And for everyone who says that, oh, you know, the outer circle, you're so negative, it's so bad for the community. No, that shit right there, that is bad for the community saying to the guy who works his ass off to try and participate in this hobby that, hey, you don't have this because we decided we're going to remove it from the product range before you can even attempt to buy it. That's pretty bad. And, you know, that can't be good for building this hobby and keeping people interested in this hobby and buying this hobby. So, yeah. Give us, give us a chance. Call it like... Um upcoming last chance or um, soon to be discontinued or something like that and give people like three months three months is probably a fair time frame before you say all right this product is going to go don't just pull a set of products one week and then another set another week and definitely don't do what you do with the solar auxilia which was release a tank the same day you remove the crew. I can't harp on that point enough because it is such a face palming moment. Especially because that tank has terrible weaponry and you want the crew. You want to upgrade it with the multi laser You want to upgrade it with the heavy flamer. Anything other than the fucking heavy stubber that it comes with, basically. That shit just... People look at it and they go, is this company inept? 
are you guys idiots? And, you know, guys, the biggest point I can give you here is go email Forgeworld. Don't talk to them on social media. They don't give a fuck. And they pretty much say it. They're like, social media is just for fun and hobby and blah, blah, blah. If you really want to talk about customer service, go email us. So fine, go email them. Email Forge World. Say, I wanted to collect this army. I wanted to buy these parts. I only have X amount of money. Now I can't buy these parts because of your decisions. If they get enough emails like that, they may actually get a hint. Anyway, I'm Mac with the Outer Circle. Love to hear your thoughts and feedback below. See you all next time.